Hello and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. We fully intend to finish today. We're on level 5-4, and there's it goes up to 5-10, so... Whoa. Pack your bags, It'll guys. probably actually be next time that we finish, but... We're going on a journey. A journey through all time. A time that's changing, changing all the time. time. It's, it's time, time to go to time. We don't, we don't really, really want, want to. to. We're, gonna We're going to finish Plants vs. Zombies. Don't be stupid, friends. Come on, it's time to go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, aside from that, um, I want to use Grave Digger. No. Sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna regret bringing that, but I look okay. There's literally no instance in this entire level that I can bring that, but but I can use okay, that. Hey, it's worth it. It's it's like our good luck charm. We we just have that. Things are gonna go our way. There is RNG, so. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things are gonna get brighter. <laughs> Wise words. Wow, <laughs> I I feel moved. Cabbage and corn. Cabbage and corn. All right, so tell me a story before you like mentally die. Why don't you die. tell stories? I'm because I'm much playing out. the game. All right, give me a frick. Gonna multitask here, don't mind me. Does um clicking stuff really constitute playing in the game? I have to look at what to click, like it's not gonna click itself. <laughs> Spadow is a freaking good phrase. I'm gonna use that more in my daily life. <laughs> Trying to bring up my stories as I'm doing things here. I'm gonna collect all the sun. I put it in lists and stuff. Yeah. Huh. Cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah. Cabbage. What? So. Do ya? I am under. Okay. Nice. Spencer's <laughs> being a Vietnam vet. <laughs> I to live. I live to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the point in the night where Aiden starts to lose brain functions. So. Gamers, we're off to a good start. Okay, so no, my stories. Story. Um, I don't have like a lot of super interesting stuff, but these are kind of neat. Neither do I. Look at this. Um, <laughs> I w okay. I was in a biology lab. Um, I've never been more proud of someone. So we're we are learning about like, um genotypes and like dominant traits and stuff oh we're doing that too yeah yeah so um one of the the example that we did was like if you cross your if you like put your hands together fold them um is your right thumb or your left thumb on top and like that i think left thumb is a dominant thing and whatever and the dude who is sitting next to me leans over and says if your left thumb is on top you were a woman in another life and i was like bro <laughs> And it's, it was like someone from my hall too, so. <laughs> Good old Cedarville. I now know that there are other JoJo fans at Cedarville, which is relaxing. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a JoJo's reference. It is, yeah. Yeah. I was like, I did not expect that. that. Like, don't was like, hey, I ain't gay, but a JoJo's reference is a JoJo's reference. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. So the other thing was last weekend, um, they had something at Cedarville called Alt Night, aka there's nothing to do at Cedarville. So <laughs> here, here, let's try to entertain you for a weekend. <laughs> um, and it was it's mostly bullcrap, not gonna lie. But there was one thing that was uh, probably the highlight of my entire week, in which um, they brought in. So they, they have like a group there that trains the service dogs. Um, but the service dogs start as puppies, so they brought in a bunch of these golden retriever puppies, Aww. and we got to hold them, and, uh, so yeah, one, we, I was there toward the end of the night, and one fell asleep in my lap, it was nice. It's adorable. <laughs> and it, like, licked my ear and started biting it, I was so happy. My puppy only bites my ear. That's all she said. He likes to bite. Nom, 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 nom. Um, I'm like, shh. Don't need to be doing that right now. <laughs> Let's plan on all these. <laughs> so what do those do again? It's been they a while. suck the metal away from the other zombies. So that's oh, yes. ladders, football helmets, pogo sticks. They're really good. 
Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. Tell me about um the two weddings that you had. The two. Oh boy. All right. So first oh, off. Wait. Yep. I regret bringing Grave Digger. We should have brought a defensive plant. <sighs> Wants grave digger. We're just, we need I, him. I can't even put it there. Well, we need grave we'll digger. Have to put flower pots. Come on. Uh, so take it back to the Monday before show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. A I. AI. No, 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 this was a, this was okay. So taking it back to the week before pumpkin show, I text my boss and say. Hey, I will not be able to come into work Monday or Tuesday of Pumpkin Show because of my dad's wedding. Um, so just please uh, try to work around that because there's no way I can come in. Monday night rolls around. We're on our way to the rehearsal. Uh, I get a call from my boss. She's like, hey, any reason you weren't at work tonight? I was like... Mmm, this is the, uh, the wedding rehearsal that I told you about. She's like, really? Well, I don't remember you telling me about any wedding rehearsal. And I said, no, it's an Albany expression. Uh, <laughs> of course, no. Um, she's like, hmm, all right, just make sure it doesn't happen again. She's well, like, okay, I'll, I'll make sure you check your phone next time. Narrator, uh, it happened again. <laughs> yeah, she was notorious about that. I remember telling her at one point, like, yeah, I'm going on vacation this week. I'm not going to be able to make it in. And it was like the night before. Or no, it wasn't vacation. It was um, my wisdom tooth surgery. Oh, like, yeah. I'm not going to be able to make it in. I'm going to be like unconscious that day. And <laughs> it was like the night of. And she's like, hey. Where were you? I was like, I had my wisdom tooth surgery, and luckily, I follow, I'm a little bit paranoid when it comes to working in professional, so I, I follow the code of get everything in writing, because then they literally cannot stick you, so, mm. I had the thing in writing, there and that saved me, but. Um, anyway, so my dad's wedding was first, a backstory on that, so my mom has been, had been planning her wedding for like, ever since the engagement so like maybe six months and then a few months ago my stepmom was like hey we're gonna plan our wedding a week before your mom's wedding and i was like <laughs> okay you know just flex <laughs> on them a little bit this is happening um <laughs> so it pulls around and my dad is typically really stressed out about big stuff like this um, like vacations, he's really stressed in the morning before we go, or like, I don't know, fine arts night, he's really stressed about <laughs> us getting there or something. Imagine that being a big event, like... <laughs> oh no, listen, and then it's his wedding, and he's really chill about it, and he's like, yeah, Donette did pretty much everything, so, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just basically here for the ride, I was like, okay. And I'm doing all the music for it, and I'm also the best man. So I got to play Here Comes the Bride, and then after she got down the Here aisle, the I got to run up the side. Here and, comes uh, the bride, and I dude. say, it's alright. She's fat and wide. Da -da 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 <laughs> wow. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my freak. Little darling. Oh! Oh no! Oh, that's not good. Right. Well, okay, luckily I don't need the magnets anymore, so I don't really care. Um. Anyway, his wedding went good. There was some, there was some good food. I had a really good speech, but my freaking cousin only got a minute of it. She's like, I just got it for the office reference at the beginning, and I was like, I asked you to videotape all of it so I could have it for later. She's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. It's like. This is why you're the least favorite of your family. <laughs> wow. Um, and then my mom's wedding was kind of the opposite. I wasn't that involved, but like I walked her down the aisle and stuff. Um, Cause you know, grandpa croaked. Uh, and I also played before. Oh yeah. Oh nice. I played before the wedding, like when everyone was sitting down. Uh, I had an even better speech at her wedding. Uh, Cause it was full of princess bride quotes. Everyone loved it. Uh, I have that one, all of it, on video. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put a link to it in the description if I remember. Probably won't. Yeah, you won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that one went good. 
but it was a really hectic week because we were always doing something and i really didn't get any hours at work because of it i don't eat anything <laughs> kind of sucks well it happens what can you do request more <laughs> I don't have time to work more hours, darling. <laughs> and then this week, she thought I was still on my wed wedding schedule for some reason, even though it's the week after the wedding. So she also put me on for two weeks this week. No, two days this week. Like, hmm. Okay. Oh my god, this level freaking sucks. Um, what, we, what are we doing? Uh, it's all choppers and pumpkins, and it's all bungee zombies. So. Oh, great. So yeah, that was basically just the story there wasn't that much into it but oh also i drove to lancaster and back by myself i drove to grove city and back by myself it was a really big step for me driving wise that's true yeah driving to another town so, um yeah it was, it was good i remember the first time i uh drove the why 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 ah. Yeah, I remember the first time I drove out of town. My first time. Um. Alright. I don't have many stories. The last one that I had was, um. The. We had, like, a D group, um, like a devotional group that we started at the beginning of my freshman year. And, um. We called it, like. <laughs> I, I was literally just walking back from dinner one day, and they had, like,. I don't know apparently started a d group in the middle of the parking lot so i was like mm. all right what's going on here <laughs> and they called it like roadside ministries or something as like a joke <laughs> wow. um we talked about the bible for uh probably a good 10 or so minutes and then we started looking up hey <laughs> we're we're bored uh, of like there was like no one else walking by that we could con into joining us so we were like hey you know what would be funny <laughs> if we looked up um chapter 4 verse 20 in every book of the bible oh i did that once I <laughs> and was i was just like all, yeah. well it was <laughs> oh, it was yes. supposed to be in a d group i'm like is, is this really necessary <laughs> for but... speaking of <laughs> devo groups our core group for the youth group we have a we have these devos that we do uh and i am notorious for never doing mine on time oh no because i barely have any time in my day for me let alone anything else <laughs> um so tucker will always get on my case about it he'll be like agent do the devo or just i don't know be very snarky about it like you being uh, snarky about me doing the devo does not make me want to do the devo anymore he's like well i'm just getting you to do it i was like well you're not really <laughs> figure out a way that's not making me not want to do it and then we'll talk but uh but this, when we started a new one, it's going pretty good. I'm actually, like, on track for once. Frick. Oh. Oh, no, this, this is, this should all be fine. Except for this one. What? They don't eat the... <laughs> you guys are useless. You can't even eat the thing that's right in front of you. Wow, hate to see it. <laughs> that's yum. a good hitbox. <laughs> yum, yum, in my... Tum, tum. Tum. <laughs> No. Oh. Yeehaw. <laughs> Dude, okay. I'm just gonna say that Shoot the, faster. them making the uh the sex pistol bullets say yeehaw every time they got shot was probably the best change of the show. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of now when I hear the uh bungee zombies come down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna tactical. Yeah, and honestly, okay, part five discussion. All right, <laughs> I can live with that. You got nothing else to talk about. So, you what? What did you think? Um, I didn't like it as much as like part four or something. No. Um, part two was still the best one. Fight me, but okay. <laughs> hey. I'm like, I don't know, it, they just did such a good job with a lot of the, um... <laughs> Oof. Oh, that's not good. But they, they did such a good job with the, uh, the art style. Joseph was, I mean, the best Joe Starkmon. <laughs> um... 
and uh, he just it, it was a good good time um part four was probably in a close second part three and part five i'm still a little bit torn on i think they're pretty equal in goodness yeah i don't know i i don't know if i like three or if i like five more that one's a hard one to choose um because you know both yeah. both were you know they weren't as good as two or four but they also you know they're not good enough to know which one you definitively are, i guess mm -hmm. uh so that one's hard all right we're but, just gonna nuke you know, everything we're all better than part one <laughs> he tried <laughs> maybe i mean it's just Part one's the worst way to introduce people to JoJo's, I guess. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like... Because you don't want to have people part skip, but you also want them to actually watch the series. Yeah. Got the garlic. Ooh. Bro, Spencer, how long were you up there for? You were taking like a monster crap. I wasn't doing... I wasn't... I was trying to get <laughs> some of the abyss. Oh. <laughs> okay. Which I've during your monster crap. Spencer's only November third. <laughs> all right, bye, Spencer. I, I have determined that they were all impossible, <laughs> and I will not be trying them again. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, put grave driver in. Huh, we're not doing that again. <laughs> I really regret doing it. Oh, I th okay. So these guys will just like delete your sunflowers, and you can't really do it anything looks like about a them. Beard. He's just a fat guy, like... Come on, bronies aren't gay. What are you talking about? I like girls. Well, oh, <laughs> ponies. <laughs> What's the difference? So anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, let me let me link this to the, the part 5 discussion we were having, actually. Um, the first episode of Pony is freaking stupid. So, yeah. anyone who watches it is like, Wow, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um... And yeah, I really don't blame them for thinking that, but... Yeah, it... I don't know. If you can make it through part one, you deserve the greatness that is JoJo's, <laughs> I guess. To put it lightly. Oh, let me let me show you the meme, so... Let's do it. Yeah. Basically, this is how you, like, do sunflower farms. Um... The garlics are stupid because you can, I, I've called a lot of things stupid, but you can um, put the garlics in a row and if they bite them, they'll switch lanes. Yeah. So you can put like three rows just completely full of sunflowers and then two, like garlics right at the front and then they'll all come into the lanes that are completely filled with attack plants. So, <laughs> wow, that is pretty epic game. Um, um let's see back to jojo's so part five had some new ops you know yeah traders Requ requiem being one of them it was a good one how would you okay how would we put that into our official oh yeah so the last ranking? time we had this tier list was during super mario sunshine and like 45 bc way back when we played that now um i would say the traders requiem so let me Let's like let's remake the tier list here because my opinions have changed. Um, all right, all right. We got. To start. I'm gonna make a tier list as we go, and then we can. Okay, you just send it to me, and we can yeah. edit it in if we remember. We so basically, we won't. But... I'll text you. Okay. All right. Create a JoJo OP tier list. Okay. So Is Traders Requiem I... on there? Because it might not be updated. Wait, so I'm gonna check those websites. Oh, I don't want to do it. How do I put some in here? Where are the choices? It's... Do I have to go into presentation mode? No. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, we'll do that. You might not be able to do it on your phone, is what I'm thinking. Where's your laptop? It's in the other room, and it's about dead. Oh, oh wait, I see them. They're right here. All oh, right. Okay. First off, we have Stand Proud. I should probably, we should probably, like, I don't know. You just want to start with the first one? Not the first ones, but we should probably start with the best ones and work our way down, because... <sighs> yeah, okay. So, we'll say... Crazy, noisy, bizarre town. Or I'd say... Stream. 
personally, I'd put that in S rank. I know it's not, you don't like it that much. So I'd say either S or A rank. Where would you put it? If you can be the deciding vote. Um, um, I, I, okay, I do like it. I just don't think it's the best one. We'll say that the S rank is reserved for like only the best one. Um, or just slide it in A. Yeah. S, S rank is crazy noisy. Like, or not crazy noisy, is, um, we're just gonna put bloody stream. Bloody stream, there. yeah. All right. Greatest intro to anything uh, ever made. I'm just gonna put Chase in D tier. Good. Great days. That is A to S. I'm not sure which one, but I'm it's... gonna pop it in S tier. Cause that's a bop. <laughs> like okay calling things a bop is like some new lingo that i hate i don't okay. know why it's just I'm gonna so call it a banger instead then how about that what the frick up boomer <laughs> um let's see sono chino sadame yeah what what ranks do we have like we have s a b c and d nothing is in e tier really well chase is it though chase is a good intro it's yes. just the, the intro is good the song's just not good don't don't be a robot people don't like chase because they said that it doesn't fit jojo's style but it doesn't. it's a still a good song is the thing i don't know i just don't even like the song in general but oh that's your own i'll song. move it up to c if you want it to be in c I'm gonna put Sono Geno's anime in B tier. Yeah. Chase is B tier, in my opinion. Like, I, I, I wouldn't. And I even... think it's D tier, so we're gonna settle for C. And you also think that Crazy Noisy Bizarre Town is like the best one, and it's it good, but one. it's. The banger. Hmm. Um, Alright, Fighting Gold. B ish. I mean, it's, it, it's okay, it just. Unlike the other ones, it got old after listening to it. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Um, we're gonna the B tier. Stand proud. That one was a good one. That was A. Yeah. Pop it in there. Um, let's see. End of the world. End of the world. I feel was good, but it was also kind of forgettable. It had like the the final moment of it, or the final like part of the song was really yeah. good, but. How about B tier? Yeah, that's fine. And then last but not least, the newest one, Traders Requiem. A. Pop that into A tier. All right, so first place we have Bloody Stream and uh, Great Days. In A tier we have Crazy Noise of Bizarre Town, uh, Stand Proud, Traders Requiem. In B tier we have Sonoshi Sadame, uh, Freaking uh, Fighting Gold, and End of the World. And then in C tier, we have Chase. That is our tier list. Save slash download. That image. All right. <laughs> and then that'll go in the episode somewhere. Okay, here's here's the real discussion is outros. Oh, that is a good one. Uh, let's see. Anyone can rate the OPs, but the EDs are where it's at. Honestly, I didn't like freaking you. I, it was like if a they, meme. If they could have gotten Gangster's Paradise, it would have been so much better. Because that would have fit. Yeah. You know? Freaking you, it's like a meme, and it's like, you go from like, okay, spoilers, but you go from like, oh no, freaking, <laughs> I guess Abakio didn't die during, the, uh, during that part, but you go from like, oh no, the main characters are in trouble, everyone just split up, something super serious happened. Every time, every time I close my eyes, I wake up feeling so, so horny. horny. Yeah, it kills the mood a little bit, as you can maybe imagine. <laughs> so, have you listened to all the um, an outro songs, like, just mm -hmm. standalone? Uh, okay, so here's, here's my ranking. There aren't enough of them to do a tier list, I don't think, no. so we can just so order I'm just them. gonna order, here's mine. Uh, in first, I'm gonna have a bold take. I'm gonna just put my like, quality of song wise alone. Uh, part four's outro, I'd say, was the best one. I would agree. Yeah, because that's that's a really good song. Uh, it also fits part four's mm -hmm. style really well. Second, 
Uh, I guess there's five. Yeah, there's five. Because uh, there's two in part three. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, hmm. I want to put roundabout high on the tier list, but I don't really know where I put it in. Because it's good whenever it's the, the intro part <coughs> of the song. But whenever it kicks into like the, the chorus area, oh, yeah. I don't feel like it's as good. So maybe this is too hot of a take, but in my opinion, Roundabout was one of the worst ones. Um, I mean, freaking it, you is the worst. It but. was a classic, so I was gonna put it at four. You know what? Screw it. And another hot take: I thought that Last Train Home was better than Walk Like an Egyptian. It was. I mean, it, it just set the mood better. It, yeah, it did. So I guess it's I. I want you. Then. Last Train Home, Walk Like an Egyptian, Roundabout, Freaking You. What about the new one? There's a new one? The Okay, the Part 5's second outro. Another outro? Yeah. What? It was a really good one. I, that was like my second place, or first, maybe. I thought that was just the chorus of Freaking You. Was it? I don't yeah. think it is. Here. Part 5 outro. All right, let's finish this discussion. We have Modern Crusaders. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. I thought this was just also part of Freaking You, but I guess not. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's not bad. All I'm saying is though, for part seven, if they don't do Old Town Road, I mean, that would fit. That would fit. With some of the key plot points, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna say any of it because most of it's spoilers. Anyway, but, yes, that's yeah. the end of the episode. Thanks All for right, watching! Bye guys!